how does one capture the life of a wonderful man like Alistair King, Mr. Alistair King, Justice of the Peace. That man loves, loved this country so much and especially the Toledo district. He literally, literally has given his life for Belize and for the Toledo district. He was a kind man, a giant of a man, an icon, a decent human being, generous to a fault. Do you know, I don't know, really, I'm lost for words. Um, and there's the other side of him that so many people may remember, may not know. He was a practical joker. He made jokes, uh, teased all of us, told us things we believed in, and then there'd be a twinkle in his eye to, to, to make us realize he was leading us on. You know, he was that sort of man. But certainly back to the, to the fact of his love for this country and for the Toledo district. That needs to be remembered. He gave his youth, his life, for everything and every one of us there in the Toledo district. He wanted to see development. He contributed, he has mentored. And I don't know, I could go on and on, but maybe that is the minute. I work along with Teacher Jane very closely. She was our local, she was our senior, or not senior, but head local preacher in the Methodist Church. I mean, um, you know, we had her and the others, but I always look upon her as... What is the one thing you remember, you will always remember about her? Right. One of the main things I remember about Teacher Jane is her calmness. She never speak loud. She never shout. And she was always certain of what she was saying. And, and in her message on the pulpit, she bring it down to earth so the smallest child could understand. I want to dedicate this song especially uh, suiting for Teacher Jane. Teacher Jane as a young boy um, back in the days when me and she used to lead service when she made me lead service and she will be dearly missed by the family and the church and the community. What is one thing you remember and you will always remember about Teacher Jane? Uh, when anytime we used to do service um, she used to be calm and understanding. My beautiful aunt Jane Locario and one of PG's first principal. I mean, when PG was pioneering into education, she was one of the first teachers and elevated herself to, to a principal. And even when higher up in the Methodist diocese as being part of the head, um, head of the faculty staff, no? Um, my Aunt Jane is a loving woman. She has always been there for me personally. I mean, sometimes I get in a jam and I call on her at short notice and, you know, she's just there to respond and if, her, if she doesn't, she finds a way to help me out and I'll always be thankful and grateful for her for all the things she's done. She's just a wonderful person. My mom and everybody, you know, was very close to her. So, I love her with all my heart and will miss her dearly. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to pick out just one memory. Sister Jane was one of the most, one of the nicest people you can, you can ever meet. Gentle, quiet, a lady that was strong in faith. She not only talked about a good, a good life, but showed how a life should be lived. Well, well respected by everybody in the community. Not only as a teacher, but as somebody who 
lived as a Christian, preached about Christian, and like I said, was a local preacher at the Methodist Church. She's definitely going to be missed.